A lot of niggas is playing games and not saying the real shit that's going down, nigga, on this hip hop corn tail shit. They taking us down one by one, my nigga. Period. And the fun parties that we didn't have back in the day, Miley parties, nigga, whatever the bitches was off cocaine, whatever they was on, nigga, drink parties, whatever. They bringing that shit up to wash niggas right now, which was the standard shit of an industry party. Basketball niggas, baseball players, Tiger Woods, all them niggas have parties like that. But all of a sudden, the rapper is the enemy like he's, I'm just saying, bro. So let's hear what uh, Slim Thug got to say. Uh, salute to Chink Smooth, man. Fair use. Let's go. Once again, it's your boy F-A-C-E, feet on the ground, ears to the street, coming at you with another Bay Star exclusive. Now, you know what I'm saying? You heard the boy Yuck Mouth, you know what I'm saying? You just heard Yuck. And, you know, we got to we gotta, we gotta break this down a little bit because it's a possibility all this stuff that we're hearing about Puffy, it might be a facade. Because if you really bust down, and first of all, let's do the roll call. You know what I'm saying? Shout out JT, the bigger figure. Shout out Yug Mouth, Forgotten Kings TV. Shout out Alonzo. You feel me? Gangland, Ronald Mac over there. You know what I'm saying? It's Mac and the Mobbing. Shout out uh, Smurf Nacho. You feel me? All the niggas, man, that's really putting it down right now. You know, but, you know, I got to go back, you feel me, to what JT, the bigger figure, taught me in G Bundles, you know, because I'm an old school mandatory business student. You feel me? And before you could get some dirt on your boots, you gotta learn about the hidden hand. You feel me? So, so, so JT made sure he always taught us about the hidden hand. And a lot of times when we see some of this stuff on the media, it's a hidden hand. You feel me? So, what's the hidden hand with the puffy thing? If you really listen to what Uncle Luke said, and shout out Devastator. You feel me? If you know Uncle Luke, you gotta know about Devastator. Yeah, we doing the roll call. But anyway. Uncle Luke said, you know, Puffy went against the grain with some of those big alcohol uh, tycoons. And stuff of the law, you know what I'm saying? It's too much of this, you know, being intoxicated anyway. But that's a whole nother topic, you feel me? But he was dealing with some of them tycoons out there in the Middle East. I mean, not the Middle East, but the UK over there in Amsterdam and all of them different places where they distill liquor. And he was trying to put some lawsuits on some of them people about um, discrimination. You know what I'm saying? So shortly after that, what happened? They started unleashing all of these legal problems, just like they did Bill Cosby when he was trying to get that TV station. You feel me? Just like R. Kelly and just like Michael Jackson when they wanted their masters. So you got to believe none of what you hear and half of what you see out here. So we we really, as a culture, be in the habit of just really listening to whatever comes straight on our TV screen or whatever's on our feed or whatever appears to be the plot, we just jump right in. But it's a possibility this nigga Puffy might not even be guilty. Now, a lot of the stuff he do is morally wrong. We know he's shysty. We know he cut out to the meat show, but we... We really can't just say he's that stupid to do the kind of things that they alleging because he's a he's like a genius, you know what I'm saying? To put together that many acts like Biggie Smalls, Mary J. Blige, 112, the list goes on and on. He can make 
something out of nothing. You feel me? So when you got that bag, they try to come for that bag. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So yeah, go follow Yuck Mouth. You know what I'm saying? Smoke a lot radio. Yuck Mouth radio. The boy be going up like every night, like from one in the morning to like three in the morning. And this nigga good. You know what I'm saying? Go um, subscribe to Forgotten Kings TV. And that's just a few of the people keeping it lit. And most definitely subscribe to Bay Star Magazine. You know what I'm saying? We sponsored by Blunt Champs. You know what I'm saying? And we don't do this for clicks and views. You know what I'm saying? We really do this to uncover the truth. We truth seekers. You know what I'm saying? So if you like truth seeking, you know what I'm saying? If you understand what it means to be a Bay Star, to be a beacon of light in the darkness, you know, so people can navigate themselves through this darkness and reach their true destination, like and subscribe to the channel, man. Once again, it's your boy F-A-C-E, feet on the ground, ears to the street. Coming at you with another groundbreaking exclusive. Shout out Smurf Nacho. King TV, we the one. Oh, King's TV. Before they like try to blurp a nigga, they was on some real sucker MC shit, man. We using y'all footage and we shouting you out, nigga. Canada, go follow for God King's TV because they was mad that we didn't give them niggas the credit for the Sprancho shit. So okay, yeah, let's get it. Canada, right, when you sign up to these major companies, these major corporations. And they make you a billionaire. And you're doing all kind of wild shit around them and all kind of wild shit with them. And they make you a billionaire. They feel like they made you. They feel like they made you. So when you go rogue and you get to the point where you, you go to talking that shit about suing them and, and, and acting like and talking all that wild shit about you this and you that and you suing them and they treat you some kind of way and when you go rogue those people coming what's up everybody this is the world famous ed lover and you are watching forgotten kings tv that's right forgotten kings tv come on son